there are a fair number of precipitates uh, settling out of a uh, blend of uh, gasoline and B99 that I picked up recently in uh, Tucson. Some of them are quite large chunks. Here's some more chunks of uh, precipitate that are precipitating out of a blend of biodiesel and gasoline. It's uh, blend is 90% biodiesel and 10% gasoline. You can see up here that the blend is a little thinner at the top. And that's, I put the gasoline on top, or two gallons of gasoline on top of 18 gallons of B99, which I purchased at a fuel station in Tucson, Arizona. Two days ago, I collected 18 gallons of a locally made biodiesel B99 from a fuel station, and then I added two gallons of gasoline on top of it, and I noticed right away that there were precipitates forming, and uh, it sat around in my settling tank for two days, and now I'm gonna draw off the first uh, collection of precipitates, and let's see what we get. As we can see, there's some dark thick stuff, but it's not too bad. It's relatively clear. Not a huge abundance of it. So now let's just see what we got. So it's fairly dark, but there are definitely some particles floating at the bottom. And let's see if we can get the sunlight going through it so we can see those particles. So there we can see some chunks floating at the bottom of this sample container of biodiesel. And I believe those chunks are what causes the plugging of fuel filters and people who first get started on biodiesel. And it's not that biodiesel is so um, such a good solvent that it cleans out the fuel tank. The problem is is that when people start with biodiesel they have some uh, diesel fuel in their fuel tank and that diesel fuel causes precipitates to form uh, to precipitate out of the biodiesel. So my recommendation is to never put B100 in the fuel tank and always blend a small amount of petroleum distillates such as gasoline or diesel fuel into your biodiesel to uh, force out of solution the precipitates. This is a sample of locally made bio, made biodiesel that I collected and uh, blended with uh, gasoline at 10 percent to force out of uh, solution with the biodiesel uh, components that are not compatible with uh, petroleum distillates. And the reason why I did that is uh, uh, there are a number of reports on biodiesel forums where people who have been making biodiesel for a number of years have uh, had their pickup screen plug on their fuel tank and then dropped their fuel tank and found there were all kinds of globs of things that had accumulated inside the fuel tank from running biodiesel. And my theory is is that what's going on is there uh, is that uh, periodically they add a petroleum diesel like gasoline or diesel fuel to keep their biodiesel uh, from gelling in the winter time and that and the action of putting a petroleum distillate with the biodiesel forces uh, incompatible components out of that out of solution and they precipitate out in the bottom of the tank and indeed I found uh, when I added gasoline to this sample some uh, incompatible components precipitated out 
So I'm going to now measure the uh, specific gravity and viscosity of this sample. The temperature is 58.8 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 15 degrees C. So we're going to check the viscosity since we can't check the specific gravity. Okay, so it was 38, 37 seconds. This is uh, some of the sludge that uh, came from my blending experiment with B99 biodiesel with uh, gasoline added at to it at about 90%, and you can see those big chunks at the bottom are what came out uh, from the biodiesel after adding the gasoline. So I'm very glad that I filtered this blend before I put it into my fuel tank, or all that would have ended up stuck in my fuel tank and eventually stuck in my fuel filter and people would have said oh yeah the reason why your fuel filter plugged up so quickly is because biodiesel is so so such a good solvent it it cleans your fuel tank out this is my uh, 27 year old uh, Detroit diesel 6.2 liter diesel engine starting up uh, at operating temperature on uh, B90 uh, 10 percent of that uh, Biodiesel blend is gasoline, not diesel fuel. And as you can see, no smoke, adding gasoline to biodiesel and uh, waste vegetable oil or any waste oil. Uh, improves performance and reduces uh, contaminants and uh, uh, reduces emissions and it also functions as an excellent anti-gel agent for waste oils and biodiesel.